to another video. Till now we have been creating our programs in one specific file. We have been making our functions, our built-in functions, our structs, our classes, our templates, and so on, all in one specific main .cpp file. But what if I tell you that we could split this thing up into more categorized ways. We could have one specific for our declarations, our prototypes, one specific for our definitions, our implementations, and one specific for our main driven logic. So that is called multiple files. And this C++ allows you to create this. And once you get going with coding and you write extensive code and your code just comes up a lot in one specific file. There's a need to make separate files to make it more organized, more modular. And this modular representation is known as multiple files. So the C++ functions are usually split to make code more modular. The declaration in a header file, the definition in another .cpp file, and programs with multiple .cpp files must be linked at compile time. So there's this G++ compiler that is linked with CMD and you could do this in Windows and also with the terminal window on, on the Mac OS. But this is like main.cpp with a space fns.cpp. And the thing is that this is so simple that only the C++ files are linked together and the header file doesn't even have to be called. The header file must be included in the file with main function. Just you have to include it separately. So this is how it's going to be included. And let's take an example by making our own code. So over here, I have a skeleton already created for me. I have an hash include IO stream using namespace standard in main and a return zero. Uh, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to create a specific function here. So I'm going to go over here. And I'm going to create a function. I would call, give it a return type of void. I would name it as greet. And I would have something inside of the input parameters. And it's a string. And also, I would give something to it. So like, I would say name. And I would console output. And it's just, just going to be so basic. I would say welcome. And I would just give the name of it. So something like that. And I would invoke it here. So I would say greet. And I would give a name to it. So let's say John. And let's give a semicolon here. I would execute compile and run. What you'd see is welcome John, as expected. Now we could do this this way, and this is actually not a good way to do it. Other way is that we could uh, divide our definition and prototype. So what we could do here is that we could get this full thing. So I would get this entire thing. And I would go on the bottom, and I would just paste it. And over here, I would just copy this declaration and go over here and paste it and give a semicolon to it. Now this is called forward declaration and I have a video which deals this in more depth. So we have this void greet and when I save this, execute, compile and we're gonna get the exact same thing and just like that. So another way to do this is divide these the uh, uh, divide this stuff into main multiple files so what i'm going to do is create two new files now i'm going to say i have an untitled two and an untitled three what i would do is i would cross this out i don't even need this now and i also don't need this now so i would just cross this out and i would go in the untitled two and what i'm going to do here is i'm going to paste this but I'm not going to get this part either. So I would just cross this out as well. And what I need in the untitled three is the same exact thing. Now, over here, you got to hold up. First, you got to save this. And I'm going to call this as FNS, which means functions. And what I'm going to have the extension is .hpp. Now, .hpp is over here. You can call it .h file. And it's just basically a header file. Now I would save this. And now this is a header file defined. So we have a header file here. And over here, this is going to be called our additional CPP file with our definition. So I would just call this as FNS. And it doesn't matter. You don't have to like name it what I do. You could do whatever you want. Um, what I'm doing is just a convention. So I'm making the name the same as the header file, but the extensions are different. Over here is a CPP, over here is an H. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna include some preprocessor directives. So what I'm gonna include here are some preprocessor commands. Now, if not define, so then I what I would do is I would name the file. So FNS, 
and I'm gonna give it underscore H. Now hash define and then FNS underscore H. Over here is and if, so and if like that. And now what you're gonna ask me is, hey coding cleverly, what the heck is this on the top? Now I will tell you that these are preprocessor commands. Uh, what they do is basically they tell the preprocessor to not define the material in the header file. So this thing more than once. So more than once, like if you have a confusion over here, it says if not defined, this FNS is a convention to write in all caps. You could write in lower caps or whatever, but it's just a convention to write them capital letters and also match it with the name of the fi file. So this is FNS and I just made it all caps FNS. Underscore H is the extension. So that was like that. So if I just said, if it's not defined, then define it okay and then and if so if if for instance like this becomes um false like if not defined becomes false and it is defined it's not going to define this again so what it does is that prevents multiple definitions of whatever it is contained in this file i want to do is just that i don't have using namespace standard now i don't have this included and this is basically some thing that i have to include but i'm not going to include this and instead of that I'm just gonna have to specify it standard colon colon st string so it could know. Now let's save this. Now over here, uh, I have this um, thing, same thing as well. So I have the string, right? So I'm gonna have to include this standard over here and over here as well. So I have over here in the C out and in the end line. So st stuff like console output, console input, the end line also a string they will also require this standard okay if you don't have the using namespace standard included so i have this now and one more thing what i have to do is that fns.h is now already defined here and what i have to do is that include it so how am i going to include it? i'm just going to say hash include and i'm going to put double quotes and i'm going to write fns.h h that's all i have to do i don't have to write the exact function again over here and this looks much great just have to invoke it here in the main logic and everything is going to be done over here as well what i'm going to do is just have to include so i'm just going to say hash include fns dot h and save this code and hopefully we'll get something executed so execute compile and run now you see over here, I have a problem. It's saying using namespace standard. <laughs> so after wasting so much time, I I had an error that I couldn't understand. And what I did, I missed a pesky little semicolon over here in the declaration part. So in fns.h, always remember to put your semicolons and don't waste your time. So I put my semicolon here and you can see that I just have a using namespace standard here. I don't even have to include this either. So I'll just delete this and instead of that, um, this would work fine. So this is saved and I didn't include here instead I put standards and what I did over here is that I didn't include this using namespace either and I just put standard C out standard and line and whatever. So so now what I would do is command G plus plus and one is my main dot CPP one is my FNS dot CPP and I would just change the name of the executable file. So I would just say hyphen O and I would change it to something like, let's say working. And now I'll hit the enter button. Now you can see that it's compiled. Now I would just call it, so it's just working. So I would say working and you would see welcome John here. That was it with multiple files and you could do this not only with functions, but you could also do with f classes. You could also do with structs, templates. This was it with the video and I will see you in the next one.